Hey game designers and welcome to part 10 of the Homework Walking Animation tutorial. Um, when we last left off, we finished the last uh, reference over here, which was frame 14. We can go ahead and reorder them. So now that we have 12, 14, and 16. So now is a time where we have to talk about uh, what in between frames we are going to do. Because uh, chances are we are not going to all do all of them. Okay. So uh, to help you with this, I gave you guys something in the uh, assignment right here. Okay, the Homer Walking Animation Project. You will see an image file. This image is kind of like the plan that we are going to do. So you can see here that we decided that this frame and this frame, the pass and the pre up, are very very close to each other. So we don't. I don't think that we need to have an in between frame from here to here. You can see here that the leg just moves a little bit. So we're going to move this frame over and we're going to actually go and make two in between frames from here, which is a contact frame to here, the pass frame, we're missing some pretty big number of frames here. So we're going to do a down frame and the pre pass frame. You can see between here, frame 22 and 25, we're going to have an in between here. We call it a post up frame, which is going to be similar to the uh, post up frame. Uh, the post up frame that we had uh, before. Okay, you can see here that this was originally the uh, uh, closer to the, down, uh, the pre pass position, so we moved it over here, and we're going to add in another contact frame, which isn't doesn't appear here, and a down frame, which we're going to create as well. So we're, again, we're going to create a down and a down, a pre pass, a contact, and a post up frame. Okay, and that will pretty much end the project. So the first one we're going to do today is the frame between these two, which is the post up frame. So let's go ahead and do that now. You can see here, this is the up frame, right? And this is the contact frame. And we are going to make a frame in between these two. And again, we're going to use the in between method. Okay, if I remember correctly, this is frame number 10. This is frame number 12. And since uh, we don't want to mess with our originals here, let's just go ahead and lock these. Okay. Um, even though uh, you can actually still uh, change the individual layers, uh, we're just going to lock them anyway to let us know that that's not what we're working on. We're going to be working on the in-between frames. So again, to do the in-between method, we're just going to go ahead and grab this and go ahead and duplicate. And we're going to use the move tool and move it in between. Again, try to align the bottom. You can see the red line on the bottom turning on. That lets me know that it's uh, the same as this here. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of 12, duplicate that as well. Okay, and I'm going to move that copy and move it over here. And now when I move these, I try to, with my very best, to align the hips. Okay, so I'm going to turn down my opacity here to about 50%. <clears throat> and you can see here it looks kind of blurry because, again, those images are being overlapped. But um, we're going to go ahead and do our best to line up the hips. So again, um, you guys can't see it, uh, but I am using my keypad here to move it pixel by pixel. Okay. So you can see here, I'm moving it, trying to get it to line up just right. And that looks perfect. You see how it looks a little bit less blurry around the shirt? So I'm trying to line up the waistline. That's kind of like where I'm, I'm aligning things up. I'm aligning at the waistline here, and now it looks... Um, you know, aligned correctly. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> take a look and see if there's anything else that's uh, that's wrong here. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and move them next to each other, and we're going to rename these just so that we're not confused. We're going to go ahead and rename these by double clicking on the words here, and we're going to rename this frame 11 the before picture. Right, frame 10 is the before. Frame 12 is the after, so we're just going to rename it 11 before and 11 after, right? Just for organizational purposes. And again, we're going to lock these because we're not going to mess with these either. These are kind of like our references. And we're going to take a copy of the 11 after, or basically the frame 12, and we're going to duplicate it. And this is the op. This is the one that we're actually going to work on, right? So we have an after here. I'm going to rename that after to just the frame 11, right? And we're going to work on this frame exclusively um, to find the in-between angles of all these things. Okay, so let's go ahead and again um, 
let's go ahead and let's get started. So let's go ahead and try to do this as quickly as we can. I'm going to go ahead and lock down frame 11. I'm going to go to the right arm. And again, um, I have a choice to go directly in the middle, like 50-50, by using the rotation tool and rotate it like this. But I don't want to go 50-50. I want to favor the back side a little bit more or the left side a little bit more. Um, because again, the reasoning being that your arm as it goes uh, upward, right, it's going to slow down due to gravity. So I'm just going to favor the left side. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the right arm since I have it done. And I'm going to turn off the shirt as well. Uh, so I can focus just on the left arm. So I'm actually going to go into the other uh, frames, frame 11 after. Turn off the right arm, turn off the shirt. So I can just focus on the left arm. I'm going to go down to frame 11 before. Turn off the right arm and the shirt. So now I just got the left arm to work with. So make sure I'm on uh, frame 11 here. I'm going to click on the left arm. And again, I'm going to use the rotate tool. I'm going to go ahead and move the pivot to the arm socket here. And I'm going to, again, I can make it in between, like perfectly 50-50 like this. I can again favor the top side to show that it's moving faster and slower, faster when it's swinging this way and slower as it makes its way up, right? <clears throat> so again, I'm going to favor that and that looks good. So I'm going to turn off the left arm. And now I can kind of just move forward here. Um, you know, and if you want to, you can just turn off all the other left arms if you just feel like, okay, I finished that. Let's go ahead and just turn it off so I can keep my focus, especially when this many objects are overlapped with one another. So I'm just going to turn off my left arms here. Okay, and now I'm going to work on just the right leg. And now, again, because all these images kind of overlap and stuff, um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn off uh, all of the uh, the left leg for now. So I'm just going to turn off the left leg for the after frame, turn off the left leg for the before frame, okay, and just focus on um, the right leg first, okay. And I'm actually going to turn off the frame 12 and frame 10 just to get that out of the way. Also turn that off. So again, all I'm doing is just focusing on this. <clears throat> all right. So now with our pen tool, we're going to go ahead and start fixing the uh, right leg of our uh, frame 11. So we just make sure that you click it on the frame 11, not the frame 11 before or after, just frame 11, left leg. I'm going to go ahead and click on the main shape here. Go ahead and use my uh, path select tool, see all the paths here. And now I'm just going to do the in-between method. So right here is where the knee is. My current knee is right here. So I'm just going to move it somewhere in between like this, right? Here is the before of the right leg. Here is the after. So you think about it as an arc. And I'm going to favor again a little bit to the right to favor the upswing here. The down one is way down here. The down one over here is way over here. So it looks like I'm going to do the in-between method, something that looks like this. Okay. Again, I'm going to favor the down position here. The back of the knee was over here. The back of the knee after is over here. So I'm going to pick somewhere in between like that. Okay. And the back of the thigh looks just right where the buttocks and the thigh meet. I'm just going to leave that one. Now I'm just going to fix up all the handles and try to see if I can get the uh, best look I can here. And just move the handles, kind of make it smoothen out. And I'm probably going to move this in a little bit, move this out. And uh, that looks good. Let's go ahead and move the shoe. <clears throat> and just make sure that our foot is the right size. Now you can see here, it's kind of hard to see where our foot is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just turn off the uh, right foot on the after frame and the right foot on the before. So again, so I can just easily focus on the shoe that I'm working on right now. And I'm going to go ahead and move this. And you can see here that I probably have a problem right now is that my feet or my leg is not big enough. So let's go ahead and go back. And go ahead and just uh, extend it out a little bit here. Again, use my pen tool. Okay, that looks much better. 
kind of lower this handle a little bit here. Go back and put in my cuff right there, right there. Okay, now I think that looks good. I think I'm done with the right leg, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the right leg now. And now I'm just gonna focus on the left leg. So I'm gonna turn on the left leg of the one I'm currently working on, the left leg of the one that, uh, the after picture, and the left leg of the before picture. Okay, you can see here that it's just kind of swinging backwards here. Um, I wonder why my hips don't seem to line up correctly. Let's just make sure I didn't screw this up. Uh, So let's go into after. And the before. That looks right. That looks right. And that looks right. So everything seems to be lined up just fine. Okay. Um, probably some alignment issues that I have. Let's just make sure that my frame 12 is on the ground. That looks good. And make sure that my frame 10 is on the ground. And that's pretty much good. It's maybe a few pixels here. Nothing too crazy here. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and focus on what we need to do. And then we'll fix these little adjustments later. All right, so let's go ahead and again focus on the left leg. I'm doing the left leg of the uh, current frame that we're working on right here. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the left leg. Go ahead and hit the collapse button. Go here. Use my pen tool. You can see here the knees just move pretty pretty straightforward movements here. So the knee was somewhere over here, now it's over here. So I'm gonna move it somewhere in between, kind of favoring the back side, the left side a little bit. Here's the before, here's the after. So I'm gonna choose an arc that's a little bit favorable to the left side. Same thing here, before, after. So I'm just gonna choose something in between here. And the back leg is the before, here's the after. So I'm gonna go something like that. I'm just going to move the handle so that it looks natural, that I have a natural looking uh, leg here. I'm going to move this one out a little bit there. And maybe move that cuff a little bit this way. Make it look a little less straight here. Yeah, everything looks good here. So I'm going to again turn off the left leg of the other ones so that I can see what I'm doing. Turn off this left leg, turn off this left leg. Right? And now I can just focus on the shoe and the. Um, the cuff, go ahead and go to the shoe, move that over here. Okay, change the angle a little bit here, make it fit. Okay, that looks good. Go ahead and go to the left cuff. Again, using the pen tool. Right there. And right there. Okay, and now we have the left leg. Let's go ahead and turn on the left leg, right leg, and just see how everything seems to look so far. And it looks pretty good. Um, left leg, right leg, that looks fine. Um, again, it's, you know, foot's almost reaching the ground um, to make the contact position. Okay. And now we're just going to make the head bobble a little bit back. So you see here that the front one was a little bit forward, the back one's a little bit to the left. And we're just going to pick somewhere in between. So we're just going to again use the move tool, move the pivot to the center of the neck here, and just move a little bit in between. And there we go. Okay. So now I'm going to turn on the left arm, the shirt, the right arm. Let's go ahead and turn back on my other ones here. Actually, I'm going to turn on the rest of them off. I don't need to see this one anymore. Actually, I'm going to turn them back on. Never mind. Change my mind. I'm going to turn them all back on so I can kind of look and see how this animation looks um, all the way. So let's go ahead and turn on the arms, the shirt, uh, the legs, the arms. Go into the before picture, turn off, turn the shirt, the right leg, left leg, left arm. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and collapse that now that it's, everything's on. So everything seems to be on now. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the opacity back up for all of them. 100% on that one. 100% on that one. And again, if you kind of just rename the ones that you want to see in preview, the uh, proper uh, naming convention is underscore a underscore. Double click on this. Underscore a underscore. Hit enter. Now I'm just doing this so I can see uh, the animation and just see how it looks. 
Okay, and again, I'm going to move the frame 11 in between the before and the after. And now I can go ahead and go to file, go to export gift. It just helps me see if, uh, um, if my animation looks a little clunky. I'm going to hit cancel so I can keep the original size. Okay, and the frame that I'm working on is right here, right? Between the, um, the almost, wait, not out here. It is over here, right? So here's a contact frame. Here's the up. And oh, you can see here that I missed some of the stuff. Let's go ahead and close that. Um, it looks like I did not turn on the, uh, the after picture. Oh, this looks good. And what's going on here? There's the right leg missing of the before picture or something. Let's see if I actually turn off just one of these. No, that looks good. This all looks good. This all looks good. The opacity seems to be up. Let's look at this left leg. Uh, all that's on. Right leg, all that's on. The after picture. Oh, the right leg was turned off. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead again, uh, go to file, export as gift, and just take a look at it. Again, hit cancel. Kind of see our Homer in full walking animation. Let me go ahead and slow it down a little bit to like 20%. Again, you can kind of see it right now, even at 16%. Everything looks good. Looks like it's in between frames look good. All right. Okay, and that does it for this video. I'll see you guys next video.